guys, Josh Carter here. We've got James, and uh, we're gonna do part two of our trailer build. We wanna show you guys what we've done to it so far. Um, we are back from Texas and was able to test everything out on it yeah. and, and see you know, if everything that we put on her was gonna work out for us if we need to make any changes. So um, stay tuned, we're gonna dig into this. All right, guys, like I said, we're gonna go over our, our tandem kayak trailer that we built. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll put the link up top here and uh, you can catch part one first before you, you, you see this video. But um, right now it's basically, I'm gonna say basic. Yeah. We still got a few more things that we wanna do to this, yes. uh, you know, for being on the road and all that stuff. But we're gonna kind of dig in and show you guys uh, what all we got. And we did take mine off left James is on so you can kind of see how it looks while the kayak's not on here and then also how we set it up with the kayak sitting on the trailer. All right, so one of the things we did, I think you've seen us, we were cutting these boards out and everything. Well, we went ahead and carpeted them and everything like that. Uh, we put some hold downs on here and everything like that to be able to strap the kayak on. We got, so we got one that runs right through there, run the other side in the back and then one in the front. They threw bolt all the way through just so we didn't have to worry about it. Uh, it actually worked really well while we were down there in Texas, uh, just sliding the kayak on. This is pretty much the same way we have our single trailer set up. Uh, the winch on the front is a huge deal. That was, uh, that was something I didn't think that we'd use as much as we actually did. It's actually really nice when you get done fishing at the end of the day, run the strap right around the handle, winch it right up, and then you can pull on up and then you can finish unrigging and everything once you get it up in the parking lot. Um, we did add a box to the front of this. Um, we just went to Tractor Supply and bought this box. Um, it's fairly inexpensive, but this one here actually holds the motor guide trolling motors perfectly. <laughs> like you couldn't ask for it to fit any better than that. Um, we was able to also put our pedal drive systems yeah, in there and all pedal that. pedal drives. We've got a couple other goodies in there too that we're gonna be going over once we do our full rig through. Our full walkthrough video on this, which we're gonna shoot here in just a few minutes. So if you're watching this video, you might wanna like and subscribe to the channel so you'll be able to watch that video because I think you're really gonna be excited about all the stuff that we've done for that and the new products that's gonna re release because of what we did the rigging on our kayaks if that makes any sense but <laughs> yeah, i think they'll get it <laughs> but i mean we did we we went through and repacked the bearings and everything like that we bought new tires for it and uh just mounted them back on the same rims uh we have our spare tire and we had, didn't mount that back here yet we were going to put it in here we just threw it in the back of the truck for the time being but we got a couple more ideas that we might do to actually save some more space and everything like that. So, um, we're I definitely mean, one of we done. wanted to do was put another box here. Yeah. And possibly something through the middle. I don't know yet. We're, yeah. You know, we're still up in the air on that shit. But. Yeah. So, we're working on that, but it actually really, it worked really, really well on our trip. Pretty inexpensive. We don't have that much money in it. Um, and it made a cold trip to Texas. Yeah. It did, it did really well. I mean, it pulled great. We got, a, we got a little wiring issue we got to fix, but we're gonna, like I say, we're just, we're kind of getting to all that, so. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I know we wanted to shoot more video with you guys on like, you know, packing the barons and all that stuff. So some of you guys that don't know how to do that, but um, we'll, we'll get to that later and show you guys the process of packing barons and all that for guys that are kind of new to, you know, pulling a small trailer with a kayak. But I will say, like James said earlier, if you do have a kayak trailer, the straps are nice on the side. They're perfect, you know, for time, making sure it's tied down good. But I think having this was like key yeah, to because be you're to, in and out of the water so quick. Yeah, so you, you're not, you don't have to be one of the people people complain about at the boat ramp because of kayak. Seriously, we pulled these things up there within couple i mean couple just about as fast as a bass boat could pull out yeah we were pulling out as well with two kayaks so um, and you can leave them fully rigged that's one thing that 
the modifications that we do to it here in the future, we're going to be able to make sure that we can keep them fully rigged when we pull them out of the water. And I think that's a lot of problems I see with other trailers that people rig that they can't leave all the rods sitting in the back and everything like that when you pull out the water. So that's one thing that we want to make sure that we keep intact because we like just being able to rig it all the way up and then go chuck it in the water right. and then go sit back in the tr you know in the truck or wait till it's time to take off or whatever. Or when you get home from the tournament, mm -hmm. you ain't having yeah. to go through all the crap. And I just I hate having to fully. I get it for guys that got a car top it, and I feel sorry for you guys that got a car top. So I'm probably okay with it. Yeah, I am not. Yeah. I hate to unrig everything. So. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got more coming. We're going to be doing more to this and some more products are going to be going on it. Uh, it's just going to be a timely deal. You know, we're going to get a little bit as we go and, and build it up. But, um, but like I say, right now, if you've seen the last video, we don't have a lot wrapped up in it. I mean, what was the total that we put on that, in that box? That was, well, I ended up getting it a little cheaper, know, a little cheaper because I, it was dented. As you can see, but yeah. uh, I mean, I think we paid two fifty for the box, which is a steal. I think they normally run like four hundred dollars, and it just fit perfect in there. Uh, but like I said, I'll have to figure it up. We'll figure it up at the end of the video. Well, I got it in the last there. video what we what we had in it so far, yeah. which the materials that were already on it is already figured in. So yeah. we just had to add the price of the box, yeah. and that'll be what we have in it right now. So um, it's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. So no. Nope. But other than that, like I said, guys, hope you liked this video. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, stay tuned because we're going to have our kayak rig video out here soon. And then, like I say, all next week is going to be some new things getting released for uh, Classic Week. So other than that, guys, we'll talk to you later. See you. See you.